Hello, I'm Ben Maracle. Welcome to where Hollywood is taken seriously. Today, I will be reviewing the movie Halloween Kills, which is directed by David Gordon Green, who is no stranger to the Halloween franchise. Halloween Kills starts seconds after the ending of the 2018 film Halloween, with Michael Myers in the basement of Laurie's burning house. Once Michael gets out, his reign of terror begins, and the town of Haddonfield suffers from it. However, as always, Michael is after Laurie Strode, who spends most of the movie in the hospital. While Laurie is in the hospital, a character that is a fan favorite from past Halloween movies plans to end Michael's life once and for all. The story that Scott teams Danny McBride and David Gordon Green wrote was incredible. They did a terrific job creatively weaving two stories into one movie. In the Halloween film mythology in general, what amazed me about this film was that it didn't have as much blood and guts as other Halloween movies had. That obviously was because Halloween Kills concentrates on the dramatic side of the story and not so much on the gruesome killings. That isn't to say that there aren't any graphic sequences because there certainly are and they are entertaining to watch. However, if you are able to find Halloween Kills entertaining without numerous murders, then you will enjoy this movie. As most movie connoisseurs know, John Carpenter's music theme written for this series of films is iconic. This time around, John Carpenter takes the original theme and slightly changes it. I personally enjoyed the change. I give Halloween Kills an A+. Thanks for watching, and I hope you keep watching my future reviews. You can like Where Hollywood is Taken Seriously on Facebook. You can also email me at wherehollywoodistakenseriously at gmail.com with your thoughts and opinions on Halloween Kills. And remember, this is where Hollywood is taken seriously.